हे गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट केरला नीट पीजी स्टेट लेवल काउंसलिंग सो विद टुडेज वीडियोस यू गाइस विल कम टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट केरला स्टेट लेवल काउंसलिंग फॉर नीट पीजी लाइक एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस इन केरला सीट मेट्रिक्स फॉर गवर्नमेंट कॉलेजेस एज वेल एज प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस what was the last year cut off in 2020 uh, what is the expected cut off for uh, 2021 out of 800 marks uh, what is the stipend details how much stipend kerala state provides and bond details also like uh, how many types of bonds are there and what is what are the bond details uh, for kerala state so let's start the video my name is gulshan jha and welcome to kerala media first thing first what is the eligibility criteria for the state level counseling of kerala so apart from other common requirement uh, two uh, extra requirements are needed whenever you, we talk about uh, state level counseling and that two extra requirement are the um, origin and domicile so first one what is origin origin means the student should be of origin of india he or she could be pio or the uh, overseas citizen of india but for kerala state counseling he or she should be with root roots in kerala so those students only eligible at the same time is domicile the student should be of domicile of kerala if he or she is not the domicile of uh, kerala and wanted to take participate in kerala state level counseling then their mbbs graduation degree must be from kerala state uh, other students are not eligible so just uh, keep in mind the student should belongs to kerala or otherwise the student should have completed their mbbs from kerala at least so this is all about eligibility criteria apart from these two points these two extra points some basic eligibility uh, criteria points are there like uh, the student should be Uh, neat pg 2021 exam qualified uh, in- internship should be completed before given date and uh, all the certificate should be there with the candidates so these are the common uh, points which is uh, which comes under eligibility criteria let's talk about seat matrix of government medical colleges and private medical colleges in kerala so whenever we talk about allocation of seats of government medical college we all know that there are two ways of allocation of seats first one is uh, uh, 50% of seats uh, is allotted by all india quota which comes under mcc and the second second one is the remaining 50% seats of government medical colleges which is allotted by state level counseling so if you sum up uh, under 50% all india quota the total number of seats in 2020 was 328 and under 50% state quota counseling total number of seats were 427 so if you just sum up both the figures you will come to know about the total number of seats available in government medical colleges in kerala so we have given the figure of 2019 and 2018 also just for your future references if you want to do some calculations you want to compare that how many seats have been increased from 2019 to 2020 so you can do that calculation if you want so this is just given for the future reference so let's talk about the seat matrix of private medical colleges in clinical branches there are 312 seats in non clinical branches uh, there are totally 119 seats so uh, totally if you see in private medical colleges totally 431 seats are there uh, whenever we talk about uh, private medical colleges we need to see what is the fee structure of private medical colleges because uh, studying uh, doing the course of medical from private medical colleges or the deemed universities is little bit expensive and it from little expensive to it goes till most expensive so it is very exp- it could be very expensive if you uh, if you are not aware about the Uh, fee structure of private and deemed universities so that's why you should uh, know what is the fee structure in kerala for private medical colleges for clinical seats it's your fees would be 15 uh, 15 lakh per annum uh, this is this will be your tuition fees and for non clinical branches it is 9 lakh 10000 uh, 
सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन रुपीज सो इट इज इट इज द कॉमन फी स्ट्रक्चर विच इज विच इज फॉलोड बाई ऑल द प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज इन केरला विच इज फॉर क्लिनिकल ब्रांचेज इट्स फिफ्टीन लैख पर एन एम एंड फॉर नॉन क्लिनिकल क्लिनिकल ब्रांचेज इट्स नाइन लैख टेन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन रुपीज राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज द फी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एन आर आई देन इट इज थर्टी फाइव लैख फॉर द क्लिनिकल ब्रांचेज एंड सेम थर्टी फाइव लैख फॉर नॉन क्लिनिकल ब्रांचेज राइट लेट्स कम टू द पॉइंट ऑफ बॉन्ड डिटेल्स वी ऑल नो दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड फर्स्ट वन इज सर्विस बॉन्ड विच यू हैव टू गिव विच विच कवर्स द अमाउंट ऑफ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम विच यू नीड टू गिव सर्विस टू केरला आफ्टर the once your course will be completed right and the second one is course discontinuation bond which is also known as seat leaving penalty once you take the seat and the counseling gets over after that you cannot leave the seat if you leave the seat during the course duration th- then it will be considered as uh, you will be considered under a course discontinuation and in that case you will have to pay the penalty so first one is service bond which is uh, of one year and if you don't want to give that service you will have to pay the penalty of 50 lakhs to get yourself relieved from that uh, uh, service bond and uh, if you talk about course discontinuation bond it's if you discontinue the course in between you will have to pay 50 lakh plus whatever stipend you have received that amount plus interest as the penalty so you cannot just leave the seat because that seat will go totally waste and nobody is authorized to just waste the medical seats as it is very important right so after bond details let's come to the stipend in kerala kerala authorities give uh, uh, 53000 per month in the first year as a stipend 54000 per month in second year and uh, 55000 per month in third year so this is what the stipend being provided by them let's uh, talk about some figures of last year like last year what was the last year closing rank branch wise and uh, what we are expecting this time to um, score so that to get uh, a desirable branch i'll tell some of the branches like first one is mdms ophthalmology Up till last year closing, the rank was six thousand seven hundred ninety-five, and this this is I'm talking about the government colleges. So uh, only for the general category, I'm not t- talking about other other categories. So just uh, um, if you in case you belongs to some other categories and you you have some queries, join my Telegram group. Uh, link is given in the description box you can just uh, join that group and chat with me and clear your doubts if you have any so for ophthalmology the closing rank in 2020 was 6795 uh all india rank uh, this time we are expecting the student should have at least uh, 555 to 560 above 560 will be uh, good school for getting ophthalmology in kerala uh under general category for pediatrics the closing rank was 2908 uh this time we are expecting the student should have at least 585 to 590 or more than that then only he for the getting if he or she wants to get pediatrics in kerala right so likewise all the all the branches has been given you can check over here if you want to download you can download it from the description box the link i'll give the link in the description box uh for psychiatry for orthopedics for medicine for the ent all the branches have, have been have been given you can check the details so that's all for today uh, if uh, you have uh, if you want to know these details of any other state uh, please comment me uh, your the state name so that i'll come up with the details so with these kinds of details of all other states which you want so comment your the Mm, state i'll come up with the uh, with the details of that state in the next video that's all for today uh, ha- thank you so much